Hello, and welcome back to the Ultimate Iron Man series. On the last video, we camped Zolcano for an entire week and got quite a bit of kill count, and we got a lot of supplies that will eventually translate to a lot of smithing XP. I decided I really want the Crystal Tool Seed though, and we're in fact pretty dry for it, so we're gonna get it this video. I have 466 KC and no Crystal Tool Seed, which is a 1 out of 200 drop. So this video I'm going to do Zolcano until I get the Crystal Tool Seed and also do some gauntlet runs here and there. Because if I do get a Blade of Saldor, you need a thousand charges to make it the corrupted version. And I happen to have enough right now. So let's get started. Yes, that was so close. Oh my god, I died like three times in a row to this. That's my eighth kill count. I still die a lot. Ooh, that's the first crystal armor seed. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to really use it, but it's uh, so unique, so that's that's awesome. Holy crap, that was close. I can't believe all those tornadoes hit me. Ah, I got the PB though. I had to eat a lot at the end. It was extremely close. Wow. Eh. <laughs> Not the best drop ever. But Metro Arrow is kind of bad. Alright, that was really close, but it was a PB. <laughs> I was messing up quite badly. Alright, and there's 500 Zolcano KC. So apparently I was wrong about the Crystal Tool Seed drop rate. <clears throat> From what I'm hearing, it's actually 1 out of 200 uh, for the entire group per kill not uh, per person and if you have more points you're more likely to get it in your name so that means mass worlds actually aren't great for it luckily I only did about a hundred uh, kills in the mass world and I still never saw one anyway so I guess I really still am unlucky but essentially if you have decent points it, it'll be like one out of 800 in a four man which is pretty rare uh, so I don't know I might just stop soon because this is kind of ridiculous All right, there's 50 kill count. That means I'll now be on the high scores for the regular gauntlet. And pretty good loot too. So if I were to log off and check the high scores here. So it's rank 125 for Ultimate Iron Man gauntlet. I'll probably just do corrupted from now on, but I might do a few regulars here and there for a few extra ranks. Come on. Yes. Nice. Okay, that's 10. That means we'll be on the high scores now for Corrupted. Alright, let's see what the loot is. Okay, that's pretty bad. You're now ranked 172 for Corrupted Gauntlet for Ultimate Iron Man. Alright, that's gotta be a PB, surely. 941, oh my god, my previous PB was over 10 minutes, that's huge. Let's see the loot. Not bad, not bad at all.
There we go. We got some consistent runs going on now. Lots of food left. Ooh, an elite. Let's see if we can do it. So this elite clue step requires me to have a sled, uh, which is really annoying because since I can't bank, I'll have to go make another one. And it actually takes quite a few things. Uh, so I'm going to come here and buy a cake tin. Then I'm going to go get an axe from uh, Bob because I need some maple logs. All right, I'll come over here to Sears Village and cut some maple logs. Then I need to come up here in Catherby to get this insect repellent in order to get a bucket of wax. So then I come over to the beehives and then get uh, pick up the bucket there, use the insect repellent on here, and then I can use the bucket to get the bucket of wax. Right now I need some swamp tar, and normally I would just go to uh, near Mortmire Ferry Ring, but I don't have my Draymond staff with me, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to walk over the way all the way over here to Lumbridge Swamp to get some swamp tar. And then I need a rope from Ned. And lastly, I need an iron bar, so I'm going to come by an iron ore from the blast furnace and superheat that. All right now, I just need to go get make the sled uh, in Berthorpe. All right, if I talk to Dunstan here, he should be able to make me a sled. And then I need to use the swamp tire, the bucket of wax, and then use the wax on the sled. And now we're finally ready to do this clue step. All right, we made it to the top of this mountain now, finally. So we just got to sled down here and dig. We, I did remember the spade, thankfully. It's like the worst to forget a spade here. I always love this animation. That's so cool. All right, what's the next step? All right, nice. We, we might be able to, we should be able to do all these, actually. All right, we were able to get the elite casket. Let's see what it gives. Nothing good at all. Ooh, and there's 86 crafting. The great thing about this is it's been pretty much all passive. I haven't had to blow any glass from 85 to 86. So just pretty much gotten it all from cutting gems. But yeah, one more level and then I can actually boost for a necklace of anguish. <laughs> Alright, well there's 520 Zolcano KC with gold ore and the MVP, uh, since you can see the three shards there. And that's where I'm going to stop, actually. I've done a lot of Zolcano and I really want to get the tool seed, but after discovering that it's rarer than I initially thought, I think I'm just gonna be done. I'm actually gonna do one more corrupted gauntlet KC as well to put me at 25 and then I'm gonna go use up all these supplies because I'm really not having fun at Zolcano anymore and I just wanna move on with my account. All right, there we go. I failed like three times in a row before this but that's 25 corrupted gauntlet KC. Yep. All right. That's where I'm going to stop at for now. 520 Zolcano KC, 25 Corrupted KC. All right. So as for all these crystal shards that I got from Zolcano and Gauntlet, uh, there's really only a few things that you can do with them. Uh, one of them is make divine potions, but those have pretty niche uses. Another thing is to charge uh, crystal tools, which I don't have any because I didn't get the crystal tool seed. Uh, and another is to charge the blade of Saldor, which I also didn't get. So the last option really is to charge crystal weapons or crystal armor. And since I did get a crystal armor seed, I can actually sing a crystal helm using some shards. 
And you actually get 2,500 in XP in crafting and smithing to make this helm. And then what I can do is revert it. So you get the seed back, but you lose the shards. So I can just keep doing this over and over for a lot of XP. Yeah, I'm gonna do this until I use up all my crystal shards. Oh, I actually got a smithing level from doing this. Uh, there's 78 smithing. Apparently I can make crystal bows, crystal halberds, and crystal shields now. All right, so that's the last of the shards. Well, I got 26 left, but that's not enough to make another helm, so I'll just drop these. So I actually got 77,500 XP in crafting and smithing. So that's quite, a, that's quite a bit of extra XP just from doing nothing, really. This crystal implant's really bothering me. I can't actually catch it with my hunter level, unfortunately. Now it's finally time to use up all these volcano supplies. And I guess I might as well keep the crystal helm for now. It looks pretty cool, and I have space for it. All right, so I've death banked here at Hespori. Since I want to keep adding darts, I need to use the adamant bars and adamant ore last because once I use those, I'd have a permanent addy dart space taking up uh, my inventory. I think I'm going to actually do my steel bars and mithril bars first. And what I'm going to do with those is just make dart tips and then fletch them and drop them. Because there's really no reason for me to use steel or mithril darts in my blowpipe since I'll have so many addy darts. All right, there's 79 smithing. All right, there's 80 smithing. Oh, I can actually make god sword blades now. That's actually gonna be really useful when I start doing God Wars dungeon. I didn't realize that. But yeah, this should be the last smithing level I get with these steel bars. Shit, man, apparently I misclicked for the first time and made a full inventory of steel med helms and didn't even notice. Not even worth alking, because that's... <laughs> it alks for less than the cost of a nature rune, so... That's a rip. Alright, that is all the steel bars made into steel dart tips. Well, except for the one inventory that I messed up. But, uh, we gained about 434,000 XP just from the steel dart tips. So what I'm going to do now is actually go do some agility uh, and make these into steel darts. Because you can actually fletch pretty much in zero time while doing agility. And then I'll, I'll have a, a spot for marks of grace. It'll just be one less I can make per inventory when I do the mithril dart tips next. Okay, I completely forgot about having to buy all the feathers. That took actually quite a while, but... Finally got them. Relica is my best course for marks of grace right now, and I need a lot of marks of grace. Because uh, I have so many super energies and as you can see there's a lot of huge stretches where you have plenty of time to fletch So this is one of the best courses for fletching as well All right, there's the first fletching level Ooh, apparently I can make dragon crossbow now if I were to ever get one. Uh, I doubt I would though All right, there's 79 fletching Okay, there's 80 fletching. I can actually make magic short bows now without having to boost. So that could that could come in handy for doing things in the wilderness, maybe. Or it might even be good after the blowpipe gets nerfed as well, honestly. And there's a hundred million total experience on this account. Wow, that is quite a milestone. I started this account almost a year ago now. So that's a pretty cool number to see. All right, there's 81 fletching. That's actually a really nice level because that unlocks the ability to make rune darts, uh, which could be nice for future uh, bossing, like maybe Inferno as well. Okay, there's 81 agility. It's the, probably the only agility level I'll get from making these darts. That unlocks uh, the Fremenic Slayer dungeon shortcut. That would have been nice to have earlier in in my account when I was actually slaying stuff there, but... Alright. Alright, and there's 82 fletching. That unlocks 
Amethyst arrows, but I'll probably never get the mining level to actually mine amethyst. Um, yeah, I guess if I ever got a T-bow, that'd be a good option to do, though. All right, almost done with the steel dart tips. All right, so I finished making all the steel darts, and I made 114,000 of them and gained around 858,000 fletching XP. Uh, I figured I'd try using them a little bit at ammonite crabs because... It's kind of like free range training and it's really AFK. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't want to use my blowpipe because I would just destroy all my scales, but I've been getting a little bored of RS lately with all this skilling. <laughs> so I kind of just want to do other things in AFK Ammonites and see how this goes. If it seems really slow, then I'll probably just stop and drop these to my normal account because they're worth like, like almost 350k. See, so yeah, I'm rocking a ranged void setup. I'm going to try this and see how it works and just kind of AFK a bit. All right, so that's enough range training for now. I gained uh, 88k AFK range training. Uh, it was actually about 60k XP per hour, but I, I took a few breaks and got logged out a few times. So now I'm ready to make the mithril darts. I'll have one less inventory space because the marks are great, but that's fine. Th this will go by much quicker. This is like half the amount of the steel darts. All right, I missed a level, but there's 81 smithing. All right, I finished smithing all the mithril dart tips. Uh, so now I'm going to go do some more agility and fletch them. And I think I actually will get another agility level because I'm only 141k away. Hmm. Okay, there's 83 fletching. And by the way, I've also surpassed 100 marks of grace now. All right, there's 84 fletching. Can actually now make dragon bolts. So that'll be really good for ACB Inferno in the future. Probably a little ways away from that, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the last fletching level of these mithril darts, though. Alright, there's 82 agility as well. That actually unlocks floor 4 of the Hallowed Sep Sepulchre, which I think is pretty good XP per hour. And also the Lava Maze shortcut, which is um, here. So that's actually useful for uh, clues that are right here. So I finished making those mithril darts, and I was using them to AFK some ammonite crabs, and I got an easy clue. So let's see what's in the casket. Oh, I don't think I have this store. That's actually pretty good. That's a, that's a, I think that's my only bandos item right now. Let me check. All right, yeah, that was new. And the steel plate skirt G is new. Sweet. All right, that's the last of the Addy darts fletched. Uh, so I had 927 bars, so that now that's over 9,000, <laughs> over 9,000 darts. Uh, before I had around 6,500. So when I add all these, I have about 15 and three quarters k uh, darts. Since that's almost maximum capacity, uh, I'm just not gonna make the rest of this Addy ore into darts yet because I wouldn't be able to put them all in my blowpipe anyway. So, like, it would just be taking up a spot. Like, if I made all these Addy darts, that would also be a spot in my looting bag until I need them. Just as this Addy ore is a spot. So, I'm just going to keep it here until I need it. So, for this Mithril ore, I'm going to actually turn this in for Tockle. And I think I'm going to buy an Obby Cape. Because with the Obby Cape, I'll eventually need that for a Master Clue step anyway. And I can just go ahead and put that on my Cape Rack. And then the last thing we'll have is the Gold ore. Which, that I will use up. So, yeah, I'm going to go buy an Obby Cape and then... I'm going to go reset up my inventory for doing gold ore, because uh, i got too many things right now. Oh, I'm actually going to uh, make the stamina potions as well. Then do that. So I finished selling all the mithril ore, and I got about 65,000 tockle. They actually sold for 16 each, which is not bad. Uh, so for the obby cape, I actually do need 78,000. So I'll need to sell a few chaos runes over here. Uh, I think this is going to be enough. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, though. It, it should be. So yeah, these sell for nine each. So, oh, it's definitely enough. What am I talking about? Okay, yeah. <laughs> That'd been terrible math. It wasn't too many chaos runes at all. I still got this many left. So now I can buy this obby cape. Sick. And I'll just keep it in my POH until whenever I get Bando's boots for that master clue step. Because there's actually a stash for a D2H, obby cape, and Bando's boots. All right, so here's what it looks like if in case you've somehow never seen an obby cape before, which you probably have. 
and it just stores right here in the cape rack. We've got 11 out of 63. Well, actually 12 out of 63 because uh, when I put the gauntlet cape back on here. Looking good. All right, so I'm at the GE now, ready to make my stamina potions. I got 1,300 amylase crystals from all of that. And I forgot to mention this, but this is the total fletching XP I got from making all those steel, mithril, and addy darts. And I'm actually pretty close to uh, level 85 as well. Okay, so I used up all the amylase, and I now have 666 stamina potions. Uh, <laughs> that number is kind of coincidence. This is going to be very nice, because I'm going to be using a few stamina potions for when I make this 13,000 gold ore. So I'm going to have to reset up my inventory and get ice gloves and goldsmith gauntlets. Uh, pretty much my inventory needs to just be stamina potions, noted gold ore, and then I'll, I'll need a glove switch between the ice gauntlets and the goldsmith gauntlets. Uh, and coins, but then the coins will go in the, all of them will go in the coffer. I, I, I wouldn't want to do it with like a rune pouch and blowpipe with me and super energies because that'd be inefficient. So I'm going to go set up for that right now. Alright, I'm all set up for Blast Furnace now, and this is what my setup is looking like. And whenever I run out of stamina, all I have to do is just unequip one item, and redraw gold ore, and then re-equip the item, and then unnote the stamina potion on the bank chest. Okay, there's 82 smithing. Uh, apparently I can make adamant kite shells now. Probably never do that though. All right, sweet, there's 83 smithing. Okay, there is 84 smithing. That should be the last smithing level I get from this ore. Well, that's all the gold ore smithed. That brings my grand total smithing XP from this volcano grind up to nearly one and a half million gained. And that is also going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave a sub if you did. And I'm glad to nearly be done with skilling for a while. Next video I have just a few short skilling grinds to do to unlock two huge upgrades on this account. And then I will also return to PVMing. Until next time.